the death of the planet Phaeton. Between Mars and Jupiter is a belt of asteroids, consisting of many small cosmic bodies that sweep in outer space around the Sun. According to some scientists, they are fragments of the deceased planet number 5, called the Phaeton. No one knows what caused the death of this planet, whether there was life on it and whether our Earth can repeat its fate. Instead of a planet thousands of asteroids. Phaeton is called a hypothetical planet, whether it actually existed in the distant past, this is a big question, still causing heated debate among scientists. How was the planet discovered that no one had ever seen? This happened in the Aquii century, when the German astronomers John Titius and Johann Bode jointly formulated the so-called Titius-Bode rule. According to this rule, the distances of then-known planets from the Sun obeyed a certain mathematical regularity, thanks to which it was possible to calculate where the planets that were not yet discovered were located. According to this rule, the distances of then-known planets from the Sun obeyed a certain mathematical regularity, thanks to which it was possible to calculate where the planets that were not yet discovered were located. The fact that this Titius Bold rule is true and real works, was proved by subsequent discoveries of Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. Back in 1781, after the discovery of Uranus, the question arose for the first time about planet number 5, which, according to the rule, was supposed to be between Mars and Jupiter. The search began for this missing fifth planet, which was taken by a group of 24 astronomers. It so happened that in 1801 the Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi was ahead of this group. He discovered in a predicted orbit the dwarf planet Ceres, which was too small to be considered planet number 5. When in 1802 astronomer Heinrich Olbers discovered in close orbit another dwarf planet Pallada, he suggested that all these small cosmic bodies are fragments of the once existing large planet. After that, Olbers calculated where to find new dwarf planets. Already in 1804, Juno was discovered in a place predicted by a scientist, and three years later Olbers himself discovered West. Wolber's hypothesis about the lost fifth planet, later called Phaeton in honor of the mythical hero, son of the god of the sun Helios, was so plausible that for a long period it became generally recognized. In the following decades, hundreds of new asteroids were discovered, and then thousands. According to various estimates, in the asteroid belt there are from 2 to 4,000 relatively large cosmic bodies, well, and the number of different little things can amount to hundreds of thousands of objects. According to rough estimates, if all the bodies of the asteroid belt were blinded by one big ball, then we would have a planet with a diameter of about 5,900 kilometers. It would be larger than Mercury, 4878 came, but smaller than Mars, 6780 came. If such an impressive planet actually existed, what could have caused its destruction into such a large number of fragments? Winds of Jupiter or Atomic Warfare the simplest and shortest explanation of the death of the planet Phaeton is connected with the giant Jupiter. According to one hypothesis, the Phaeton collapsed under the influence of powerful gravity of the giant planet. Jupiter simply tore the neighboring planet with the assistance of the gravitational field of Mars. The destruction of the Phaeton could have occurred in close proximity with Jupiter, which happened for an unknown reason. True, skeptics believe that as a result of the explosion of the planet, both Jupiter itself and its satellite system would be severely damaged. According to the calculations of one group of scientists, the destruction of the Phaeton occurred 16 million years ago. But it would take at least 2 billion years to restore all the parameters of Jupiter after the explosion. It turns out that the destruction of the Phaeton, if it happened, did not happen 16 million, but billions of years ago. The asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs 65 million years ago speaks in favor of this assumption, 
if the feet and collapsed 16 million years ago, then where did it come from? There are other hypotheses that explain the destruction of the feet and According to one of them, due to too fast daily rotation, the planet was torn by centrifugal force. But according to another hypothesis, Phaeton was the victim of a collision with his own companion. Perhaps the most interesting hypothesis was proposed by science fiction writers, who in a number of works linked the destruction of the Phaeton with the atomic war unleashed by its inhabitants. So powerful nuclear strikes were made that the planet could not stand it and fell apart. As a variant of this hypothesis, there is an assumption that the Phaeton civilization fought with the civilization of Mars. After the exchange of powerful nuclear strikes, the red planet became lifeless, and the Phaeton completely collapsed. This hypothesis may seem too fantastic and unbelievable to some, but recently the famous astrophysicist John Branderberg said that the death of life on Mars was caused by two powerful nuclear strikes delivered from space millions of years ago. By the way, the secret of tektites, mysterious formations similar to the glassy slides that form in places of ground-based nuclear explosions, also fits into this hypothesis. Some believe that tektites are traces of an ancient atomic war that once occurred on Earth, while others see fragments of glass meteorites in tektites. The famous astronomer Felix Siegel believed that if glass meteorites actually exist, then they were formed as a result of nuclear explosions on some of the large cosmic bodies. Maybe this body was Phaeton. When the moon was still gone, the Soviet astronomer Felix Yurevich Siegel already mentioned above, at one time developed a very interesting hypothesis. The scientist suggested that once in a common orbit around the Sun revolved a three-planet system consisting of Mars, Phaeton and the Moon. The catastrophe, which turned the Phaeton into thousands of fragments, upset the balance of this system, as a result, Mars and the Moon were in orbits closer to the Sun. The heating of these cosmic bodies followed, Mars lost most of its atmosphere, and the Moon the whole. It ended with the fact that the Moon, being close to the Earth, was captured by our planet. Interestingly, there is historical evidence of the absence of the Moon in the sky in antediluvian times. In the 3rd century BC, E. Apollonius Rhodius, the chief overseer of the Library of Alexandria, wrote that there was a time when there was no moon in the Earth's sky. This information Rhodius received by rereading the oldest manuscripts that burned with the library. In the most ancient myths of the Bushmen of South Africa, it is also said that only the stars illuminated the night sky before the flood. There is no information about the moon and in the most ancient Mayan chronicles. The famous writer and researcher Gorbowski believes that the Phaeton died 1652 years ago, mind you, this is about 12,000 years ago. By this time, some researchers just attribute the appearance of the moon on the horizon and a global catastrophe, the flood. Approaching the Earth, the moon, no doubt, caused this disaster, which is reflected in the myths and traditions of almost all the peoples of our planet. Amazingly, there is a hypothesis that the moon is the core of the collapsed Phaeton. And maybe the Phaeton is just a myth? According to the ancient Greek myth, Phaeton asked his father Helios for permission to rule the sun chariot, but his team killed him. The horses of the inept driver drove away from the right direction and approached the ground, which caused it to catch fire. Pi prayed to Zeus, who struck Phaeton with lightning, and Phaeton collapsed into Erdon and died. The universally recognized existence in the distant past of the planet Phaeton was only until the second half of the 40s of the 20th century. After the advent of the cosmogonic theory of O. Bayou, Schmidt about the formation of planets, many scientists began to say that the asteroid belt is only a blank for a failed planet. She could not form due to the gravitational influence of Jupiter. 
That is, the giant planet did not destroy the Phaeton, it simply did not allow it to form. Not in favor of the Olbrus hypothesis about Phaeton are some calculations. For example, the Moscow astronomer A. N. Chibisov, according to the laws of celestial mechanics, tried to put together all asteroids together and calculate the approximate orbit of the destroyed planet. After the calculations, the scientist came to the conclusion that there is no way to determine either the area where the destruction of the planet or the orbit of its movement before the explosion. But the Azerbaijani scientist G. F. Sultanov, on the contrary, tried to calculate how the fragments of the planet would be distributed in case of its explosion. The differences in distribution turned out to be so large that there is no reason to talk about the explosion of a single cosmic body. It is possible to come to these calculations only that for a long time after the death of Phaeton, under the influence of planetary perturbations, the orbits of the asteroids changed and messed up, it is now impossible to establish their initial parameters. But for those who believe that the Phaeton once existed, there is still good news. More recently, paleontologists found petrified bacteria in stone meteorites, similar to cyanobacteria, living on Earth in rocks and hot springs. Scientists have no doubt that these meteorites formed from the debris of the planet on which life was. This planet could be a Phaeton. Like and subscribe. It will be more interesting further.